Tenemos cinco Después de la película Okay, good evening, people. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight? Fine, super good, and you? Very good, very good. Good evening. Hello, Nordro. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher, aquí estoy, me escucha. Yes. What happened with your camera? In my case, teacher, voy llegando a la casa y me estoy parqueando. Al llegar a la casa, me conecto con todo el cámara. Okay, okay. Okay. No, I saw Lillian, and now she's gone. <clears throat> Okay. Did you have any problem with the blackout today? Did you have a you know what I mean with a blackout? No, I don't. No, teacher. No. No. A blackout is when you don't have electricity. Teacher. Yeah, no. we have both. We have it's twice blackouts. Two blackouts? Oh. Yes, in Santa Ana. Two times. Two times? 
Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't have problem with my in my workplace. Uh, they have a generator. Ah, okay. Good. Se fue la luz en toda Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala y parte de Salvador. Yes, that's true. Wow. That's in Central America. Yo pensé que ya íbamos como Venezuela. Ya casi. Ah, ah, ah. What's going Ay, on with this? Pensando. My goodness. Can you hear can you hear the, the cats in my office? Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, the my cat has kitties. Okay. Yeah, here we had like one hour, maybe, or more. Without energy. Okay, people, let's get it started tonight. Welcome one more time to our class, okay? Let me see, we'll, we're going to start with the attendance, the first attendance, okay? Oh, it's a problem for Ana Lilian. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes is not here now. Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Okay, welcome. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Frida Janine Mejia. Present, teacher. Okay, good evening. Gabriela Irene Menjivar. Oh, it's a problem with Gabriela. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Not yet. Javier Aldair Escobar. Not yet. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. I'm here. Good evening. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Good evening. Um, Jose Jonathan Vigil. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Not yet. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present Laura. Teacher. Oh, yes. Present. Okay. Good. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Very good. Welcome. Maria Concepcion Cerón. Present. Welcome. Maria Ivania Palma. Maria Ivania, not yet. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Eh, Mayra Veralice Moreno. No. Zaira Marleni Larín. Present teacher. Welcome. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Welcome. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Welcome. Eli Asael Matute. Not yet. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Okay, welcome. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Very good, welcome. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present teacher, pero estoy solo oyente. 
Estoy oh. en mi trabajo todavía. Ok. En Jocelyn Joana García. No. Okie dokie. Okay, welcome everybody. Let's get it started tonight. Last night at the end of the class, I asked you to write what you have to do and what you don't have to do at work. Okay, a list of a, a minimum three things that you have to do and three things you don't have to do at work. Okay, so I like to share, uh, let me share here the screen because there is a conversation here that I want you to use as a model to, to practice with one partner about your activities at work, okay? This is just a, a, a little model or um, about the way you can do it, okay? But you can um, do it differently if you want, no? Look at this short conversation. Okay, this one. For example, hello, uh, I don't know, Mario, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to this and this and that. Um, okay, you have to clean the office or you have to uh, make coffee for the managers or I don't know. Okay. And then you can ask some questions. Okay, where do I have to, I don't know, depending on your activities. In the, then you have to, so it's just a, a, a little idea on your conversation. So you can use this or, or, or you can use something different like, um, maybe I, if I ask you, um, I don't know, can you tell me what you have to do at work? Oh, well, I have to prepare uh, the lessons for my class. I have to grade my students' activities. I have to, um, um, interact with the students in my class. But, and then the other person asked me, okay, and what are some things that you don't have to do at work? Well, I don't have to uh, make videos. I don't have to uh, create uh, the book or I don't know, some things that. So the idea is that I want you to present your responsibilities or your obligation, but in, in a conversation with your partner, okay? That is what I want you to do. So use your imagination, use your creativity to do it, okay? Um, Wow, I have problems because some of, well, maybe only Rocio is uh, not able to participate, but the rest, yes. Let's see. Let me see, how can I make the groups in order to... Um, 
No. Here. Okay. Okay. So please go to your groups and create a conversation where you present the things that you have to do at work and things that you don't have to do at work. Okay. And after that, so you're going to present your conversation to the class. Go ahead. Eh, fíjense que eh, tengo inestable el Zoom, no sé por qué. Mira. Infante, sí, sí, sí. Eso no es una vez y pega, una vez y pega. Catherine is waiting for you, Mauricio.
Ay, ah, eso que wrong, wrong, wrong. Dice, mm -hmm. dice okay. I have a question. Um, no sé si está bien. Okay, where do I have to carry out the activities? Repeat, please. Okay, where do I have to carry out the activities? Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Ahora, ¿a dónde puedo completar mis actividades? ¿A dónde puedo realizar mis actividades? Mm -hmm. es, eh, en esta parte que no. Ah, okay, where do I have to carry out the activities or my, or my, or my activities? Algo así sería, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Y aquí, okay. in, in the office. Oh, okay. Then you have to complete activities. Okay. Okay. Y lo otro, dejamos la conversación hasta ahí o la seguimos? I don't know if you finish talking about your activities. Ah, es como nosotros queramos manejar la conversación. Yeah. So ah. the idea is that you have to mention okay. what you have to do and what you don't have to do. Ah, ok, entonces no hemos mencionado el I don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Ok, see you. See you. Y me preguntaba, do you, do you have to supervise the production plant too? Esto para mí es eh, tener que supervisar la planta de producción también. Y Con yo le digo. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yo le digo, yo te digo sí. Yo te digo sí, tengo que hacerlo. Y eh, me puedes preguntar también si tengo que. Ah, podría ser. Eh, Podría ser, do you have eh, to drive eh, distribution trucks? Do you have to drive distribution trucks? Oh, Mary, that is interesting and productive. Nice to meet you, así como para finalizar. Nice to meet you. Y vos como. Me too? No sé. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. okay. You have to explain. A chore, you have to do a chore explanation about the, the functions of our products. Okay, where, where do you have to? In the company, we have some trucks. Then you have to drive it and go to the companies and house of our clients. Digamos. Sí, así podemos hacer. Y quien pregunta. Ajá, eso podemos dividir. Ajá. Digamos alguien que diga. Hello, ya tienen eso. Y luego los de las. Una lista de preguntas. De, de, ¿Cómo se llama? De, las, de lo que va a ser. Y la otra, el la otro listadito. Estamos tratando, teacher, de organizarnos porque como somos tres. Ah, ok. De cómo leerlo. Uh -huh. Tenemos que, que trabajar en trío. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Va, entonces sería así. Eh, eh. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Es, eh, ¿Cómo sería el poner don eh, in, in where, where is the, your boss office? Algo así, no sé. 
para darle más indicaciones o está bien hasta ahí, teacher. Quitándole esto. Está bien donde dice, do you need help? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Podríamos poner, ¿y dónde queda la oficina de tu jefe? O hasta ahí. Yo digo que seis, si no más alargaríamos. Well, but um, the idea is that you have to mention the activities you have to do at work. And ah, no, you're, you're not talking about that in that conversation. Activities? Yeah, your obligations at work. And there are things that you don't have to do at work. You need to include that. Okay. Entonces tendría que hacer de las obligaciones de nuestro trabajo. O sea, cada vez que estamos. No es tanto. Muy bien. Comenzamos entonces. Ya. Yeah. Otra vez. Hi, my name is Arnoldo. You are Guillermo, really? Yes, I am Guillermo. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for us.
teacher. Hello, Myra. How are you? Me ha costado entrar ahora. Yeah, what happened? A ver, no me dejaba, no me dejaba activar el micrófono. Oh. Ni siquiera eso, la cámara por ahorita por lo del ojo va. Pero. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Hasta le escribí a uno de ahí de los de inglés, pero no me hizo caso. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno, pero ya estás aquí. Ahorita están trabajando en grupo, ¿viste? Ya, ya los voy a traer. Ah, va. Entonces, si quieren, me espero porque si a saber ya que se ya van a terminar. Sí. Esperemos un momentito. Va. Y fíjese que no sé si se habrá conectado el link, pero me dijo que ya no, creo que ya no va a estar porque les cortaron el internet. Ay, hombre. Entonces, o sea, y con datos es bien complicado. Entonces, no, me dijo que era probable que sí ya no, no, no iba a estar. Bueno, que lo. Que lo no sé, ahí estamos el proceso que hay que hacerlo. Sí, tiene que reportarlo a la oficina. Mm, va. Pero como yo los inscribo, ¿verdad? Entonces ah, tenía ah. mi duda que es lo que, que se le llamo. Sí, pregunta ah, ahí. Hey, okay. pero no sé a quién llamarle ahí a alguien. ¿Con quién hacer los trámites normalmente? Mm, ¿Verdad? Mm, va. ¿A ti qué te pasó en el ojo? Carnosidad, me operaron de... Excisión de terillón se llama. ¿Verdad? Ah, el, quiero ver cómo. Cuando terminamos el módulo, cabal uh -huh. dos días después. Me operaron. Uh -huh. Si no tengo 15 días todavía. Y este, pero ya me tocó ir a trabajar el lunes. Ya lo tenías grande. Porque igual me. Sí, ya me molestaba. Lo mantenía. Eso de la carnosidad roja y me dolía la cabeza, el ojo. Ya era un conjunto de cosas. Ah, no. Y no fue al láser. Me lo hicieron con puntadas y todo. Ay, ay, ay. No, no sé. Sí. sí. ¿En el seguro? No, en el centro médico, sí, en hospital aparte. Porque en el seguro, ay Dios, estuviera esperando que me lo hicieran. Ahorita. Así que ahorita, bendito sea Dios, ya, ya la recuperación lo mantengo rojo y más que lo esfuerzo porque es trabajando. Va. Si el IVA se vence el otro miércoles. Mm. Pero ay, ya ahorita ya más, ya más o menos, ya lo, lo tengo bien rojo, pero ya no lo tengo tan inflamado. Pero solo en un ojo. Solo uno. Uh -huh. En el otro me comenzaba, pero fíjese que así fue aquí que en este. Bien poquito tenía y de repente se me alteró. Vas a ver, y no me dije, no, eso puedo decir por qué fue la cosa, pero lo que sí que lo tenía grande, eso oh, sí. Yeah. Y cerca de la chibolita del ojo. Ay, 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 sí. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Bueno, a ver, vamos a ir llamando porque ya es hora.
Okay, welcome back. I hope you finished. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. According to Zoom, no, group number one is Rocio, Catherine, and Mauricio. Okay, I'd like to hear your conversation. Are you ready? Ready. We are ready. We are ready, teacher. Okay, so we are ready to listen to you. And I say lights, camera, and action. Hello, uh, I am Mauricio, welcome. Welcome. Hi, I am Catherine Castaneda. How are you? Uh, good. I have uh, I have here the list of activities you have to do first. You have to deliver all sizes um, and prepare the electric material or for all sizes. Uh, you don't have to eat inside um you you don't have to waste the time okay what i have to do all these things that you mentioned in the warehouse then you have to prepare for all sizes the okay of the client um, okay, I I'm going to do it to do it right now, and thank you for give give me the all instruction. See you later. See okay. you later. Okay, see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank. Thank. Now, group number two is. Maria, Ivania, Wendy, and Jacqueline. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have there the list of activities you have to do first. You have to clean the deck. And you have to check your emails. You have to re write report. You have to review documents. You have to call the suppliers. And you have to make checks. Okay. Where do you... I have to... Check email, review document, call supplier, and write a report. In the office, then you have to uh, see you later. See you later. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Group number two. Now, group number three is Karen, Vanessa, and Mauricio Antonio. Watch camera action. Hello, Karen. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to write a report. Second, you have to read the emails. And the last, you have to respond to the clients. Okay, where do I have to carry out the activities? In the office, then you have to complete the activities. Okay, and if I receive a call, do I have to answer? No, you don't have. Okay, that's fine. Okay, very good, very clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, group number four is Brian and Frida. Lights, camera, action. Okay. 
Hello, Brian. Welcome. Brian. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay. Hello, Freda. How are you? How are you? Fine, but I'm busy. 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 Do you need help? Yes, if you would like, I can give you a list. First, you have to give a report to my boss. Second, you need to answer the call, attend my clients, and answer the email. The emails. Okay, where do you need me to take the report? To my boss office in the second floor, please. Excellent, yes. right away. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, next group, according to Zoom, is group number five and Galileo and Syra. And I say lights, camera, and action. Va a compartir Galileo este la conversación. Gracias. There is it, Zaira. Uh, there is it. Hi, Zaira. <laughs> it is nice to see you. How are you? Hello, Galileo. I am very nice. What's about you? I am working at Andoria Hotel. I am general manager. And you? Great. I am working at Papa John's Pizza. I am quality control center manager. What about your responsibility? I have to check inventory stocks and I have to supervise the purchase department. It sounds good. Do you have to supervise the production plan too? Yes, I do. Do you have to drive distribution truck? No, I don't. I have don't type any purchase orders neither. Do you have to co worker under your responsibility? Responsibility? Yes, I do. I have I have two 20 co workers on the whole area. And you? No, I don't have. Uh, 20 co-workers. I have to only 12 co-workers. The hotel has to access to the beach? No, the hotel has access to the city. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Galileo and Syrah. Now, next is the next group is uh, group number six, Guillermo and Arnoldo. I'm ready. Okay, okay, lights, camera, action. Hi, my name is Arnoldo. You are Guillermo, really? Yes, I am Guillermo. How are you? I'm fine, thanks for us. How do I have to make in this play? You have to send the sales reports every morning at eight o'clock. Okay. Do you have to give me the director address? Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Guillermo and Arnoldo. Then group number seven is uh, Dinora and Mary. Please, ready, lights, camera, action. Hello, Mary, welcome. Hi, how are you? What do you have to do at work? Good, Mary. First, I have to turn on my computer in my office. Then I have to make some coffee and I have to check my emails. In the afternoon, I have to type purchase orders and I have to send 
to my clients. And you, Mary, what do you have to do at work? In my office, I have to attend the meeting and I have to go in the office. Then I have to take my break 10 p.m. As early, I have to talk, check, and I have to attend the dinner review. Oh, Mary, that is interesting and productive. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Linora. Okay, thank you very much. Good conversation. And finally, I have group number eight, but I only have Jonathan. Who are Hi, you working teacher. with? Hi, teacher, pero Laura se le cayó la sesión de internet. Oh. So you couldn't finish your work. What? Sorry? You didn't finish the conversation? Um, yes. Can you do it or not? Uh, yes, um, I can share and I can say the conversation. Okay, let's see. No problem. Okay. This is the conversation. Um, hello, Laura. Welcome. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Good. I have here the list of the activity you have to do. First, you have to prepare financial report. Okay. Where do I have to prepare financial report? In the morning at 8 a.m. o'clock. Perdón, era in the office. Okay. In the, and in the morning at 8 a.m. o'clock. Then you have to attend financial, uh, attend training session. Perfect. I need to compute for this activity. Yes, you will have. Okay. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Well, with this practice, so we finished talking about have to for um, obligations, okay? Uh, I am going to leave you this, This exercise to practice, you can do it later to practice, okay? A couple of exercises. I will leave this in WhatsApp so you can do it to practice at home. Let me share this slide. Two. Those activities are just to practice later, okay? Very good. Okay, then let's continue with the next activity for tonight. So tonight, the next lesson is this. Okay, is there any question about have to and has to for obligations? No, we can continue then. Okay, in this lesson, you will be able to talk about how and where people can stack certain products at your workplace, okay? We have these features about different products. Uh, we have these features. 
and weight, dimension and quantity. And this is for tablets, televisions and refrigerators. For example, the weight for tablets, a tablet weights 170 grams. A television can weigh 112.43 pounds. And a refrigerator can weigh between 340 and 380 pounds. The dimension for a tablet could be 19.3 centimeters uh, by 13.7 uh, centimeters by 1.03 centimeters. A television could be 41.3 inches by 26.7 inches. And a refrigerator, 48 one eighth um, inches. Okay. Quantity, 200 tablets, 100 television and 50 refrigerators. So this is the way you can read some uh, measures. Okay, grams, pounds, actually, centimeters, inches. Okay, these are inches, o sea, pulgadas. Um, and then, oh, this talks about a conversation, but we don't have any conversation here. Now, what do you think about these questions? Talking about this information that we have here. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? 100 televisions, do you think only one person can do this? Yes or no? Uh, yes, uh, one person can, but uh, the time is really long wow. during the day. In one day? Maybe, uh, I think, uh, maybe six or eight hours. Oh. One, one no. self. A lot of work. So, but yes, um, he can. Okay, if you say so, I believe you. Uh, well, let me move this. this a little bit more it's kind of strange this huh. look at this question where can you store 50 refrigerators hmm Yes, I can in a warehouse. In a warehouse. Ah, okay. Let's write a complete sentence here. You can store 50 refrigerators in a warehouse. Can you store the stuff, the tablets on shelves? Teacher, I yeah. have a question. The, 
the answer is you can or I can. The ask is where can you store? Um, could be I, no problem. Okay, thanks. Can you store the tablets on shelves? What do you think? You know what is? I am sorry, teacher. What means shelves? Ah, okay. Anybody knows what is the meaning of shelf? Es como estantes. Yes. Shelves is the plural for shelf. Shelf is one. Shelf is plural. So, estantes, repisas, those are shelves. So, can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes, I can. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, yes. Yes, I can. Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay. Wow. This is kind of weird. The thing is that in this lesson, you are we are going to learn how to use can. Can for information and can for possibility. Well, let's take the second attendance and then we are going to continue with that topic. And I have something to show you later, okay? Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. If you can turn on your camera, do it. If not, okay. And Lilian Reyes, are you there? Anna Lilian. Yeah, I know she's having problems with the internet. Okay, Brian Javier Carmona. Brian Javier Carmona. Teacher. Okay. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Good. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Gabriela Irene Menjivar. No. Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Present teacher. Good. Javier Aldair Escobar. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present. Good. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present. Okay. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Good. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Not today. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina Vigil. Laura, oh, she's having issues with the internet. Mayra Concepcion Ceron. Mayra. Oh, there she is. Mayra Maria. <laughs> Maria Concepcion Ceron. But she's present. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maria Ivania Palma. Present. Good. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. I'm here. Ah, okay. Yes. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Hoy oh, sí, present teacher. Okay. Uh, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Okay. Elias Ael. No. Karen Vanessa Moratalla. Present. Good. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Good. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Present. Okay, and Jocelyn Joanna Garcia. 
Okay. Well, let's see. I have a conversation here I want to show you. Let's start with that. Okay, let's practice this conversation first. And look how I use can. It's a conversation between Lisa and Nick. Listen. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, too. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. I go to Inglés Corporativo and I can speak English. Can you speak German? No, I can't. What else can you do? I can swim, run and jump. And you? I can't swim, but I can climb and ride a horse. Wow, ride a horse? I can't do it. Can you fly? Of course not. I can fly. I'm not a bird. Can you drive? Of course not. I can drive. I'm not my dad. Oh, her dad can drive. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Nick. How are you? Hi Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, too. Can you speak English? I'm fine, too. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. I go to English Corporativo and I can speak English. Can you speak yes, German? Yes, I can. I got to English Corporativo and I can speak English. Can you speak German? Can you speak German? No, I can't. Can you speak German? No, I can't. What else can you do? No, I can't. What else can you do? I can swim, run, and jump. And you? I can swim, run, and jump. Do you? I can't swim, but I can climb and ride a horse. I can't swim, but I can climb and ride a horse. Wow, ride a horse? I can't do it. Can you fly? Wow, I can't do it. Can you fly? I can of course not. I can't fly. I'm not a bird. Can you drive? Of course, of not. course, of course not. not. I can't fly. fly. I'm, I'm not, not a bird. Can you drive? Can you drive? Can you drive? Of course not. I can't drive. I'm not my dad. Of course, of course not. not. I can't I drive. drive. I'm not my dad. <laughs> okay. Well, if you see in this conversation, we are using can mostly to talk about your abilities. Yeah, can you speak English? I can speak English. Or yes, I can. Can you speak German? No, I can't. We have this question, what else can you do? This is more about uh, abilities. I can swim, run and jump. I can't swim, but I can climb and ride a horse. I can do it. Can you fly? Of course not, I can't fly. Can you drive? I can drive. 
Okay. So if you see, we can use can for, uh, in this case, this conversation at least, we can use can for abilities. Teacher. Yeah. When you, when we use can uh, in the ask, when we use can to ask something, Mm -hmm. We don't use the auxiliary do? No, no, no. We don't use do. It's directly with can. Questions are just with can. Mm -hmm. Good okay. question. Thank you. It's completely incorrect. Can do you? No. Yeah. Thank you. So we can use can for abilities, for possibilities, uh, also for permission. Yeah. Can I go to the bathroom? So you ask for permission. For possibilities, for example, if you say, can I, can you come tomorrow? Yeah. Can you come tomorrow? So that is a possibility. I'm asking if you have the possibility to come tomorrow. No. So we use can for different purposes, for abilities, for possibilities, and also for permission. All right. And that's what we have here in our book. Yeah, for information says here, where can, depending on the questions, no? Let me show you these different forms in this chart. Okay, can in affirmative form. Sandra can send the letter in the morning. The negative form, Sandra can't send the letter in the morning. Okay, so let me show you something. The negative form could be can not or and contracted or also there is another kind of contraction is cannot. So we can use these different forms, okay? Can, can't, and also cannot or the negative form. Now, the yes, no question. Yes, no question, we start with can. Can Sandra send the letter in the morning? Yes, she can. And for information question, when so we start with a WH word. When can Sandra send the letter? Answer in the morning. In the morning. So we have affirmative, negative form, yes, no question, and information question. Okay. Any question here? No? Okay. Let me work on this. Hmm. Okay, 
Now, let's work on this chart. Let's do it together. We can fix the computer in two days. Let me uh, ask to... Um, Arnoldo. I'm going to, I don't know if you will be able, no, maybe not. Okay, what would be the negative form for this sentence, Arnoldo? We can fix the computer in two days. We can we can fix the computer in two days. Can. Or we cannot, or we cannot. Okay, let's use this contraction. The computer in two days. Okay. Chair. Yes? Please let me ask something. Tell me. Uh, can you explain us uh, where is the sound uh, about can and can't? Uh, uh, his son or their songs, what word sounds like similar? Okay, yeah, they are very similar. Yeah, I was about to tell you that. Uh, how can you identify the difference? Okay. In affirmative sentences, the stress, the stress is la fuerza de voz, is on the verb. Sandra can send the letter in the morning. So you see, the stress is on the verb, send. Let me use a star. Sandra can send the letter in the morning. We can fix the computer in two days. The stress is on the verb. In negative sentences, the stress is on can't, on the model. Sandra can't send a letter in the morning. We can't fix the computer in two days. The sound is very similar, but how can you make the difference when someone is, is fast speaking? Yeah, cuando te están hablando, ¿cómo sé yo si me están diciendo que pueden o que no pueden? Yeah. Usually is this way, when the stress is whether in on the verb or on can't. If you notice the difference when I read, Sandra can send the letter in the morning. Sandra can't send the letter in the morning. We can fix the computer in two days. We can't fix the computer in two days. You see, the difference is Donde está la fuerza? Because the pronunciation is very, very similar. Okay? okay? I got it. Thank you. Okay. Now, what about the question? What is the yes, no question for this sentence? Uh, let me ask to uh, Catherine Marcella. Yes, teacher. What is the yes, no question for we can fix the computer in two days? Can, can we fix the computer in two days? Okay. Si la respuesta fuera no. No, I can't. No. I can't. Uh, we, podemos usar we. Ah, yeah. No, we can't. No, we can't. Okay. Good. And now let me ask to Mauricio Antonio. Veamos. Me, Rivera. Yes. Okay. Ah, si están los dos, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok. 
A ver, usan, usemos, we can fix the computer in two days. We can um, fix the computer in two, in two days. Como, como, repeat. When can fix the computer in two days? Um, no, when can we fix the computers? Está ahí lo dejamos. Porque la respuesta sería... Oh, today. In two days. Okay. Okay, in two days. Okay, people, I will give you, uh, let me share this. Voy a compartir esta imagen y les voy a dar cinco minutos para que completen el cuadro y luego lo revisamos. Oh, ¿dónde está? Ahí está. Ok, now you have the chart in WhatsApp. Please complete the, the chart and I'll see you in five minutes.
Okay, let's check your work. Well, let's give you a couple of minutes to ch compare your work in groups. Let me create the groups again. Okay. Please, in your groups, compare your work.
Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> now I have three questions for you. And I want you to respond these questions with real information about you and your work using can. Look at these questions. Think about this. Where can I find you if I visit your company? Uh, you, for example, uh, you can you could say, well, if you visit my company, you can find me at the reception. If you visit my company, you can find me at the uh, warehouse or uh, the accountant's office. Okay, so where can I find you if I visit your company? And I want a complete response. If you visit my company, you can find me at this place. Number two, what can I get from your company? So what service, what a, a product, what, yeah, what can I get from your company? Okay, from my company, you can get the best electrical products. Or from my company, you can get uh, the best or, or good uh, uh, service. I don't know, what, que ofrece su compañía? ¿Verdad? ¿Y qué yo puedo obtener from your company? Something simple, okay? No se complique en la vida. And number three, what can you do for me if I visit your company? Si yo visito tu compañía, si yo, ¿qué, ¿qué puedo obtener de ti? ¿Qué, me puedes, ¿Qué puedes tú hacer por mí? What can you do for me if I visit your company? Oh, I can show you this and this and that, or I can uh, give you this, or I can help you with that. No sé. ¿Verdad? Quiero que piensen en ustedes y en su compañía y en lo que ustedes pueden hacer por, por alguien que visita su compañía. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I will give you three minutes to respond to these questions. You escriban algo ahí en su cuaderno, ¿no? Y luego vamos a conversar.
teacher. Yeah. What is the word for descuento? Discount. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let me start with um, Arnoldo. Yeah, I think Arnoldo is ready. Are you ready, Arnoldo? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, let's see, Arnoldo. Where can I find you if I visit your company? Usually you can find me in the warehouse in second floor. Okay. And what can I get from your company? You can get all about the electrical material from the beginning of to the end of the home installation. Oh, okay, good. And what can I get from you if I visit your company? I can, I can give you a tour for the store and I can offer a special discount for your buy. Ah, okay, very good, interesting. Okay, let's see one more. Um, Frida, where can I find you if I visit your company? If you visit my company in the clinic on the sixth floor. On the sixth floor? Wow, yeah. too high. It's scary. Yeah, no. No, okay. And what can I get from your company? Uh, you can get from my company BPO's uh, uh, business process outsourcing services. Ah, okay, okay. It's a call center. It's a call center, okay. And what can you do for me if I visit your company? If you visit my company, I can give you medical service if you need them. Ah, okay, okay, perfect, very good. Let's try one more and then I will send you to working groups to do the same thing. Okay, you take turns asking and responding. Let me ask to Jonathan. Where can I find you if I visit your company, Jonathan? Teacher, no puedo hacer nada ahorita porque se me reinició la compu. Okay, but you can respond spontaneously right now. Uh, can you quiz me? Uh, okay, the first question is, where can I find you? if I visit your company? Um, I don't receive visit. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine it's an emergency. Where can I find you? Um, I don't know, in the manager's office or in on the second floor or where? In the, uh, 10th floor. On the 10th floor. Let's see, on the 10th floor at the, the Torre Futura. Ah, oh, nice place. Nice yes. place. Okay. And what can I get from your company? What can your company do for me if I am a client? Uh, offers. Um, insurance um plans insurance plan plan of retirement retirement oh really yes oh sounds interesting we need to talk about that okay and what can you do for me if i visit your company mm. offers um uh, water <laughs> <laughs> I prefer coffee. Coffee, okay. <laughs> I prefer coffee. Okay. Tio, tio, tio. No, coffee. 
or coffee. Yeah, coffee, definitely coffee. Okay. okay, so I we only have well a couple of minutes. Well, I will send you to your groups and I want you to talk a little bit about this and we'll we'll continue with this tomorrow as well. Okay, but right now let me send you to your groups and I want you to have a brief conversation in this way. Let's create smaller, larger groups. Okay. Okay, go ahead and talk a little bit about this in your groups. <clears throat>
Okay, welcome back. So we're going to take the last attendance to finish. And tonight, one-on-one -on -one session is for Gabriela Irene, but she's not here. I don't know if someone would like to take her place. Gabriela Irene no está. No sé si alguien quiera tomar ese tiempo. Pues me avisan en este momento. Ana Lilian Reyes, Brian Javier Carmona. Present. Ok. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Present, teacher. Ok. Frida Janine Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Irene, no está. Guillermo Antonio García. Ya no regresó. Javier Aldair Escobar. Está José Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Ok. José Galileo Barrera. Present. Good. José Jonathan Vigil. Present. Ok. Present. José Rodrigo Hernández. No entró. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Ok. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Okay. María Concepción Cerón. Present. Ok. María Ivania Palma. Present. Good. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio, hay que ver cómo mejoramos teacher. el equipo. Ok, teacher. Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present. Ok. Zaira Marlene Hilarín. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present, teacher. Ok. Jacqueline Gloribel Rivas. Present. Ok. Elías Ael, no está. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. Good. Mauricio Antonio Orellana. Present. Good. Rocío Lourdes Pimentel. Okay, people, that would be all for today. Uh, no sé si alguien quiere tomar los 10 minutos hoy de la sesión uno a uno. May I, teacher? Sure, no problem. Perfect. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. ¿Cuándo me toca a mí los 10 minutos? Eh, ya le digo, le toca al final, creo. Ah, ok. El 29. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Ok, people. See you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, Galileo, how can I help you? Okay, teacher. Uh, I, I have doubt, I, I, I have doubt about can and can't. Mm -hmm. uh, but after you explain, 
I have clear the concept, uh, the sound, and the meaning too. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me something. <laughs> Oh no, so this this session is, is for for example if you have any any question about something um ya sea de esta clase o de otras de lo que hemos visto en las anteriores mm -hmm. verdad Ah I okay I have a question uh, when we use have to we can use, uh, can we use uh, get replacing the have? Um, como, como en que caso? Porque el have to aquí is when you want to express some obligation or some responsibility that is something that you must do okay okay yeah for example when i say i have a, a job and can i say i get a job si sí, en ese caso si sí. pero no es, no es la misma forma verdad es es porque cuando usted combina el have to eso es otra cosa verdad mm -hmm. Eh, no es el, el ahí si no pudiéramos hacer el cambio por get ah, okay. ever ever I don't know eh, yo no sé mucho inglés pero siempre he tenido esa duda eh, porque algunas veces lo veo escrito como have y otras como get pero no logro distinguir cuándo o dónde debo usarlo. Sí, es que el get, el get para los gringos es algo muy versátil, ¿verdad? Ese get lo sustituyen a veces por muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Um, Entonces, si estamos en una conversación formal, lo correcto es usar have to. Si usted lo que está diciendo es algo que tiene que hacer, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí, no, no podemos decir, I get to work. Eso ya es otra cosa, eso ya significa una cosa totalmente diferente, mm. ¿verdad? I get to work quiere, quiere decir usted llegó a trabajar, ¿verdad? O yo llegué a mi trabajo, ¿verdad? I yes, get to yeah. work at 10 a.m., for example. Mm -hmm. Yo llegué al trabajo a las 10 pero no es, si yo digo no, I no, have no, to no, work no, at 10 a.m. No. es otra cosa totalmente diferente yo tengo que ajá sí, ya, ya lo entiendo. sí yo creo que con la práctica entonces no, ese have no, to no. es algo totalmente distinto ¿verdad? have to significa tener que hacer algo ajá, es que yo veía yo, yo veía un ejemplo eh, no, no en libros sino en en un YouTube, uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, llego a, a un restaurante y, y saludo, ¿verdad? Entonces la mesera, por decir algo, me dice, eh, can I get something for you? Uh -huh. O can I get for you? Sí, can I get for, can I, what can I get for you? Es como decirme, ¿qué, qué te puedo ofrecer? O algo así, ¿verdad? Ahí creo que me he confundido un poco. What can I get for you es, eh, sería literalmente, ¿qué puedo yeah, ofrecerte o qué puedo traerte? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué, ¿Qué puedo darte? Sí, es diferente. Es diferente. Sí, yo creo que con la práctica voy a llegar a entender esa diferencia. <risas> es que ese get, ese get es para todo, ¿verdad? Eh, lo usan bastante, eh, pero no cabe en todo lugar tampoco. ¿Verdad? Sí, no lo podemos cambiar por cualquier cosa. Ajá, o sea que es, es digamos, un, un norteamericano, digamos, común, por decirlo así, uh -huh. eh, Usa bastante el get, pero si oímos hablar a alguien como el presidente o algo, creo que usa el have. Por ahí quizás va la cosa, ¿no? Es formal. Depende en qué sea, sí, porque eh, eh, el get es, es, es muy usado para muchas cosas. 
Si usted busca en un diccionario get, uh, le aparece un montón de, de, de significados y combinaciones del get. ¿Verdad? Combinaciones. Pura bueno, práctica. Sí, ese lo vamos. Ahí sí entra la práctica. Sí, ahí sí. sí. No, pero, pero... pienso que tengo, he aprendido mucho estos días. Le estaba diciendo a mi compañera Dinora, uh -huh. que somos compañeros de trabajo, que, que ha sido usted muy puntual. Es decir, el, el how, how much and how many, eh, ya los había escuchado, ¿verdad? Pero ahora entendí que el how much está ligado, para entenderlo, al, a que es singular y es no contable. Uh -huh. Entonces, y el how many es contable y es plural. O sea, esas pistas ya me hacen a mí entender más eh, Ubicarlo, el concepto. ¿no? Y, uh -huh. y el uso y estaba bien emocionado hoy porque porque mandé un correo porque en nuestro trabajo este usamos correos en inglés con la gente de Estados Unidos obviamente breve uh -huh. eh, y, y yo estaba emocionado porque ya le pude hey how many how many containers do you can eh, ship to El Salvador uh -huh. ya, yo ya estaba okay. seguro que era how many porque un contenedor, dos contenedores, tres contenedores pueden Ajá. contarse. Y eh, me emocioné y le digo a ella, mira, esto es bien puntual, ahora sí ya lo entiendo bien. Igual que el hub tuber. Mm. Ahora, eh, he entendido muchas cosas, me, me parece súper bien en clase. Creo que voy a, voy a ir aprendiendo. Me cuesta, pero despacio. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos avanzando, Galileo. Sí. Qué bueno. ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. gracias. Ok, Galileo, se nos fueron unos minutitos, ¿verdad? Que tenemos para esto y, y eh, cualquier cosa, ahí estamos siempre a las órdenes a través del WhatsApp también, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Thank Have you. a good night. Good night. Ok. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye, bye. Thank you.